They're called honor killings, but there's nothing honorable, honorable about members of a family or a clan killing a young woman accused of sh uh, bringing shame to those families. It still happens, unfortunately, all too often in the Middle East. We're going to show you one such in incident, but we want to warn our viewers. Some of the images you're about to see will be very, very disturbing. I've seen them. I can testify to that. Let's go to CNN's Brian Todd. He's watching all of this grim material for us. Brian? It is indeed Grim Wolf, and we have new details on the investigation into this killing, which an official in that Iraqi province told me has shocked everyone there. You're about to witness an honor killing. A 17-year-old girl dragged into a crowd in a headlock. Uniformed men, apparently security forces, look on and do nothing. Plenty of other men around to stop it. Instead, many capture it on cell phone video. Partially clothed, Dua Khalil is kicked and stoned to death. A top official in northern Iraq's Nineveh province, where this occurred last month, tells CNN Dua had been seen with a Sunni Muslim man. She had not married him or converted, this official said, but her attackers believed she had. Dua's family belongs to the Yazidi sect. It draws on the beliefs of religions like Christianity, Islam, and Judaism, and does not approve of mixing with people outside the faith. The climate, the political and social climate, is such that people can do that in daylight uh, and that the authorities do not intervene. The province official tells CNN four people have been arrested, including two members of Dua Khalil's family. They're looking for four other men, including a cousin. The UN and human rights groups say there are thousands of honor killings worldwide each year. Dozens have been committed in Iraq this year, and Amnesty International says there are frequent reports of them in the northern Kurdish region. Dua Khalil was Kurdish, but the killing occurred outside Kurdistan. Have authorities spoken with her parents, Brian? This official tells me they have interviewed both parents. He says these parents were against her killing. He says some other members of her family turned on her. He names cousins there, uh, along with other local people. He says the broader Yazidi community has condemned the, her, her killing. But you have to remember, this is a sect that does forbid mixing with others. Brian Todd reporting uh, on us on one story, unfortunately, happens all too often in that part of the world.